the definition of signals and its example so first we will see what is the definition of a signal so it may be a continuous or discrete time signal it doesn't matter so we will define signal as signal is a dependent variable which depend on some independent variable so that means signal suppose there is a signal xt it is a continuous time signal and so xt is the dependent variable and t is the independent variable so xt will depend on t that means the x is the signal which depend on t continuous time and it is changing with respect to the independent variable that is time here so xt is the continuous time signal so we can see it is a continuous time signal now we also define uh, it is a physical quantity that varies with time space or any other independent variable so that is also signal or we can simply say signal is anything that carries information so signal may be one dimensional two dimensional or multi dimensional in case of one dimensional signal uh, like ac power supply ecg speed signal the independent variable number of independent variable is one like t is the independent variable over here so in case of one dimensional signal the independent variable will be one only one independent variable will be there and for two dimensional signal the independent variable number of independent variable will be two so example like picture signal x-ray image like this and in for multi-dimensional signal um, the independent variable will be more than two so example is air pressure here four independent variable are there that is latitude longitude elevation and time so air pressure depend on four independent variable that's why it is a multi-dimensional signal so now we will see some examples of signals uh, here we will see some continuous signals so it is the it is a sinusoidal signal now we express it like xt is 230 sin 2 pi ft f is the frequency what is 50 hertz uh, the power supply signal frequency it is 50 hertz in india in western country it is used as 60 hertz so 230 is the amplitude of that signal and here independent variable that is t t is the independent variable and only one independent variable are there that's why it is a one dimensional signal and x is the signal so xt is a continuous time signal and we can see it is a sign signal so it start from zero and that is a complete cycle and it will take 0 0.02 second how that means the frequency f is 50 hertz so time period that is t equal to 1 by a equal to 1 by 50 second that will be 0 0.02 second or 20 millisecond so will be a complete time cycle so that will be 0 0.02 second and it will be a 0 0.01 second so this is a continuous type ac power supply signal now we will see ecg signal electrocardiogram signal p q r s t wave uh, there it is a complex signal uh, and the complete time period of ecg signal is 0.8 Three second a complete cycle the time period is 0 0.83 second so in 60 second in 60 second it will be number of complete cycle will be 
0.63 it will be near about 72 72 complete cycle will be in 60 seconds that's why our normal heart rate is 72 okay so it is also continuous type signal there are also different type of signal continuous type signal discrete time signal we will see it later